Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to YB Tonight. I'm your host, Jessica Soskis, and tonight we're joined with resident director of Fry and Oakwood Hills, Brody Byler. How are you doing this evening? Doing good. Thanks for having me. This is sweet. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on the show. So what makes being an, uh, an apartment RD different from being a dorm I RD? Yeah, that's a great question. The apartment RDs just are dealing with more upper class students. Um, yeah, and they more sometimes put together, they have their already clicks um, in line or their teams or whoever it is. And so there's less first year development and more, yeah, just walking alongside, helping them cook or giving them any tips or anything like that through apartment RD life. Um, yeah, just different in that aspect. Okay, all right. So of uh, your teams, like who do you have? Do we know anybody? Uh, yeah, so in our Fry, we have the track and field and cross country team. So I guess that's what I'm saying. It's just, right. Yeah, yeah, they're all like clicked up. And um, in Oakwood, I know there's some volleyball players. And so they're kind of with their, their friends and their clusters over the, the years. So it's good to see. Yeah. Okay. So for those who aren't familiar, Oakwood Hills is an apartment complex right outside of Messiah's campus. And the resident life is able to house people in a select number of apartments at Oakwood. What is it like to also oversee Oakwood Hills? Yeah, Oakwood is his own animal for sure. Um, you kind of have to be in constant communication with Krista Green, who's the director there, and Bryce Watkins is the housing director here. And so, yeah, just a lot of communication, lots of emails of just making sure that everything is running smoothly. Um, the police kind of also has um, jurisdiction over there, so it's just constant communication between campus police and then the actual police if there's any other yeah just any conduct things that come up but has there been yeah. a need for any police this semester <laughs> no there hasn't no <laughs> well, that's good to yeah know. so uh ha well has there been any interesting situations that have happened during your time as an rd besides police involvement or if there is some police involvement that's a cool story too <laughs> <laughs> um yeah interesting things i'm trying to think they're really uh just a lot of cool team environments um with the different clusters on the floors so um, yeah, it's just been good to, to be living on campus and like walking alongside students who are upperclassmen and trying to figure out life. And so I've just been enjoying going on runs or having dinners or whatever, getting to know residents. So it's been good. Awesome. So typically there isn't much socialization happening between rooms in on the on-campus apartments compared to the way it, it often is in dorms. As an RD, how are you able to create a sense of community with that in mind? Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, a lot of it is just continuing to reach out and to knock on the doors. I really encourage my residents' assistants to, yeah, host these events. We'll do pancake, morning, breakfast um, events, or we'll do, we did a worship night um, about a month ago and another dessert night. And so just trying to get upperclassmen out of their, their dorms, um, their apartments. Um, but yeah, it's difficult. They, they already kind of have their, their routines, their set in stone, mm -hmm. things that they like to do. And so just trying to, to love them best by having events, but knowing that that's always an option for them. So yeah. How are you guys handling events with COVID p protocols and everything? Yeah, so far, thankfully, the weather has been really good. And so the worship night was completely outside. And so, yeah, just doing things to socially distance and, um, yeah, outside as we can. I'm sure the winter will be a completely different animal. And so we'll just kind of roll with the punches and, um, yeah, just do what we can do to keep our students safe. Um, and, yeah, just also having this, like, holistic environment that can be fun and um, yeah, enticing for upperclassmen students to join, so yeah. Wonderful, so I understand that you're involved with Messiah Athletics. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so my official title is actually Graduate Assistant Residence Director, and so I still have eligibility through the COVID wormhole um, in 2020. I ran outdoor track at Lipscomb University, which is in Nashville, Tennessee, and um, yeah, through just the means of the way God works, he kind of, led me up to Messiah and got the ability to continue that eligibility for another year and now this is the second year so this is my sixth year of track and field um, this upcoming spring and yeah it's just fun to be a part of the team and, and to run so really have been grateful for it. Wow all right <laughs> so that's wonderful so um, as an RA um, is there anything that you wish that students knew about you being an, an RD? Um, yeah is there any can you go into more detail about like, Is yeah. there anything that they don't know that you do hmm. or handle? Yeah, yeah. Um, I do a morning uh, Sunrise Slayers group, and so just getting up on 
Tuesday mornings um, at about 6.59 a.m., reading with a couple of residents who want to get into the Word and study the Bible. And so, yeah, I want to keep doing stuff like that, and I'm excited to, yeah, forever, however long I stay here, to continue to do, um, yeah, just Scripture readings and Sunrise Slayers with partnering with Aroma and then also Res Life. And so, yeah, really good. Wow, good for you. How do you think your, um, you being an RD and your years of experience at Messiah is going to help you in the wor workforce after college? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, yeah, still figuring that out. Don't really know where the Lord is going to lead. Um, it could be doing full-time resident directing here or elsewhere. Um, it could be doing coaching through athletics, um, really just trying to keep my hands open and through the many different experiences that I've had, hoping that he just equips me to whatever that door is that I walk through. So, yeah. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, we really appreciate it. And thank you again, Justin Tan, for that amazing beatbox performance earlier this evening. If you want to check out more of our show, make sure to go to our YouTube channel with lots of great content. Thank you for tuning in to YB tonight. My name is Jessica Zoskis, and have a great night.